So this is a fresh crack for me, my friend. Have you tasted it yet at all? I cheated a little bit because that's what I do. <laughs> uh, you know, win, lose, or draw, always cheat. The Pursuit United Rye. This will be their newest batch. I believe it's the second batch of their rye. Correct. Uh, just rolled out. And I really liked the first, so I'm excited to see how this stacks up next to that. There we go. Yeah, this is batch, I believe, uh, 7CC. Correct. Um, they couldn't use the current codes, so they decided to come up with their own. This is basically July 2022. So this is batch two, go. bottled in July of 2022. So this is a fresh crack for me, my friend. Have you tasted it yet at all? I cheated a little bit because that's what I do. <laughs> uh, you know, win, lose, or draw, always cheat. But I haven't really got all the way in for a proper tasting yet. So I've just had like a little sip here just to like, just to cheat, just to get in there, just to see what it was like. Yeah, I'm with you. I usually can't resist. It's just been a busy week. But for those of you who don't know, uh, Pursuit United is a product brought to us by uh, two names on the front label called Cecil and Coleman. These may sound familiar because they are the fellas behind the Bourbon Pursuit podcast. They do Pursuit United Spirits, which is single barrels. We actually, we just picked and sold out of one of those ourselves a little while ago. Oh, that's damn good too. Yeah, and they've they've been working. This is a combination of Bardstown Bourbon Company rye and I want to say Sagamore. It is rye, Sagamore, yes. Okay. I almost, Finger Lakes almost slipped out, but I caught myself. Oh, you would know if that was in there, man. <laughs> right. So that, so that episode 48 single barrel that we did was a Finger Lakes rye. So that's where the confusion came in, I think. I got Finger Lakes on the brain, my friend. That, that's a fair assessment. Cool. So, wow, this is uh, this is big on the nose. It's really big. This is sweeter than I expected yeah. for a rye. Big, round, juicy, sweet. Now, this is bottled at 54% ABV, too. I believe it's available around the $65 mark. So, while it doesn't carry an age statement, we know everything's at least, what is it, four years, I believe? I think it's four to six, yeah. Okay, four to six years. 54% ABV, 65 bucks. That's kind of a screaming deal in the current state of whiskey. One of these days, we'll pull up the actual spec sheets when we're tasting these so we can give proper information. I hate to say it. For an under 30, the sheet is just out of arm's reach, and I still can't read it. So, Fair. I mean, this is certainly rye, but it is that bourbon drinker's rye. You know, it's got a really good, good vanilla, a lot of oak, but like not in an overpowering way. It's got like, it's actually really chewy. There's a lot in the finish. Hangs on nicely. I really dig it. The only thing I can think of while I'm drinking this is this is if Sazerac rye, you know, that $30 one was like interesting. This is about the same age, higher proof, obviously. A big, I get like big caramel apple and like rye bread vibes off of this. Yep, I can see that for sure. Yeah, I get this like almost juicy fruit gum sort of sweetness in the background that does kind of pop up with that bright green apple. And yeah. it's backed right up with a good spice of rye on the finish too. It drinks, uh, it drinks a little bit older. I would say this, if you're uh, someone who's after the like eight-ish year MGP rise and you dig those, I think this kind of, this is right along the same vein, but in a, well, somewhat more attainable package. I mean, they don't have a ton of this. They're making it as fast as they can, but. Right. I, I think it's clear a lot of products trend down in availability and it seems pretty clear from you know what kenny and ryan say on social and you know in our conversations with them as, as we're friends like availability on this is going to trend up they're making it as quickly as they can they're pushing it in new states if it's not in your state now you can buy it online at someplace like sealbox but the goal is to have it in your state soon as soon as it makes sense i dig that a lot did a really All good right. job with that yeah i have to say thumbs up from me um i haven't written obviously this is my first sip i will Take this, you know, selfishly have a couple more sips and get a review up on whiskeyreaders.com. We'll give it a score. But uh, initial impressions, thumbs up for me. I like the first yep. batch, and this is head and shoulders above that for sure. Yeah, I I really thought the first batch was cool. A lot of layers of fruit to it. This, I think, goes in much of the same direction, but sort of dialed up a little bit more. Um, I, I think maybe the base age of their product coming up just a tad is what's to uh, send the credit to there. But overall, it's a really nice pour, man. I'm super happy with that. Yeah, that is a ride to write home about. <laughs>